I just picked up this Roy Smack lap steel. <clears throat> Pretty cool, actually. You see the Roy Smack there? Fingerboard, tuners. What's kind of cool about it is a big old plank of wood. This is all wood. This is all part of it. So it's a big old mama. And now this, this is not screwed on right now. This has a little crack I was kind of bummed out to see. I didn't know it had a crack when I have to get it, but you never see these with the, these covers at all. That's one of the reason I bought it. I was told that's a Gibson pickup. I don't know. The weird thing is I was told that those original knobs, the weirdest volume control I've ever seen in my life. When the, the, the guy before me purchased this in 64 or whatever it says on there and uh, and he bought it on time <laughs> paid eleven dollars a month for it well some of the screws are missing and so this whole thing is kind of loose in here but it works I put my Supro legs on it. It works rather nice. The only bummer is that the case doesn't have a place for legs and the legs didn't come with it. Took off the fingerboard, cleaned it up a little bit. You see where the legs come through here. Now this is my old Supro I've had for years and years. See, it comes with a with a place for the legs, and these are the legs that I'm I'm putting on that one. And you can see it's got the same same inserts. So the same company probably made these two lap steels. So you got those same kind of round dudes, and they fit perfectly also, just like. Those ones right there. Stick them right on in there. There she is. Strangest volume knob on the planet here, but I left it on just because it looks cool. I don't know. Works. Of course, sitting on my Supro legs right now, which work fine for it. But it sounds pretty cool, pretty balanced. E's a little loud. E, the D is a little quiet. G is loud. E's a little quiet there. So the D and the and the little E are a little, a little quiet. 12, 15, and a 20 plane. And a 32, 